Ocean explorers, here we go. Under the waves, adventure ho. Ocean explorers, here we go. Under the waves, adventure ho. Explorers, you're just in time. We're looking for a good spot to go for a dive today. Do you want to come? All, All right. right! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. Hey, Cal, how can you call it a dive instead of a swim? Great question, Dean. A dive is a swim, but when you dive, you go down deeper into the water to explore what's going on underwater. Come on, our friends Opus and Neptune are waiting for us down below. Hi, Hi Opus. Opus! Hi, Hi Neptune. Neptune! Hey everyone! You guys got here just in time. In time for what? <gasps> We're watching an octopus change colors. Whoa, what and how and what color was it? And what color did it turn into? And is that even really possible? Oh, I have so many questions. Well, you're in luck, Dean, because I'm an octopus, so I have answers. Phew. We octopuses can change our color to match the color of whatever's around us. It's called camouflage. I get it! I think? Actually, maybe I don't get it. I think it might be easier to understand if we... Take, take a, a closer, closer look. look! When you're feeling curious and you want to know Take a closer look <laughs> that octopus is playing underwater hide-and-seek. So, camouflage means hide-and-seek? Not exactly, Dean. Camouflage is when you blend in to the colors of the world around you. So, it's sort of like a way to hide without a hiding spot. Just like that octo guy over there. That octopus changed from red to yellow to match the color of the sand. Wow, playing hide and seek with octopuses is so much fun. It sure is. Do you want to help us find an octopus? All right, let's do it. I spy a purple octopus. Can you find it? The purple octopus is hiding behind the purple shell. They match. Let's see if we can find another one. Great idea, Tinker. Ready? Here we go. I spy a gray octopus. Can you find it? All right. The gray octopus is hiding on top of the gray rock. They match. It's octopus hide and seek. If you're the seeker, remember, don't peek. If you're the one they have to find, find something to hide behind. Be like an octopus and blend in well. So where you are, no one can tell. Move around, stand still. Find a hiding spot. Find a plant, or a door, or maybe a rock. I'm counting down from ten to one. Ready or not, here I come. 
Oh, oh. I spy a yellow octopus next to that yellow coral. Gotcha! <laughs> hey, I want to see if I can hide like an octopus too. Watch me! Oh, ho, ho. way to go, Neptune! You totally matched that seaweed! Oh, wait! Did Neptune just become an octopus? This is big! No, Dean, I was <laughs> just joking around. I didn't really change color. I'm always green, like the seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> Today, we went diving deep into the ocean water, where we learned how octopuses hide by changing color to match the world around them. It was so much fun showing you guys how we octopuses play hide and seek, but you know, there is one thing we like to do even more. What's that, Opus? Dance! What a day, what a day, it's so much fun. Then keep exploring. Sizing up the sea, sizing up the sea, big things, small things, things in between. Sizing up the sea, sizing up the sea, big things, small things, things in between. 
so small The tiny creatures that drift around Look out! That whale shark isn't so small at all Small? Big! Sizing up the sea Sizing up the sea Big things, small things Things in between Sizing up the sea Sizing up the sea Shapes and sizes. Here comes something really big. Whoa. Since plankton are small, whale sharks are big. Look out! But they're not as big as a giant squid. Small, medium, biggest. Sizing up the sea, sizing up the sea. Under the waves, adventure ho! Ocean explorers, here we go! Under the waves, adventure ho! In the water, under the sun Down in the reefs, in the ocean When we're playing, learning with friends Together, the fun never ends Ocean explorers! Explorers, ocean explorers, let's go! Hello, ocean explorers! Today, we're going to explore the incredible colors of the ocean and see some animals in their homes. Do you want to come along? All right! Explorer friends, how are you? Come along with us and we'll learn something new. I can't wait to see what a home in the ocean looks like. Me too. I don't just want to see the underwater houses. I want to see the underwater schools and the underwater swimming pools. I love that you're excited, Dean. I don't know if we'll see all of those things, but if we take a closer look, I bet we'll learn a lot. I can't wait! Me too! What about you? Do you want to take a closer look? When you're feeling curious and you want to know, take a closer look and your mind will grow. Wow, those colors and shapes are so different and beautiful. But what am I looking at? That's a coral reef. So a coral reef is a group of colorful rocks? It looks like a group of colorful rocks. But actually, the reef is made up of small living animals called coral. Whoa, that's cool. That purple coral looks like a bunch of purple tubes. And that yellow coral looks like a forest of yellow trees. <laughs> that pink coral is pointy like a pointy pink porcupine. All of that coral is so beautiful, but I thought we were seeing homes where ocean animals live. The coral is where lots of ocean animals live. It is. Follow me. I'll show you. Yay! Opus is going to show us where animals live in the coral. Let's go! If we pay close attention, I bet we can see some of the animals that live in the coral reef. Do you want to try? Okay, let's go! That was a sea urchin. Did you see it? That was a clownfish. Did you see it? Hey, look. I'm pretty sure we found the seahorse's home. Way to go, Dean. 
What are they doing with that coral? They're hanging on to it to protect themselves from being washed away by the strong waters. I wonder what seahorses eat. They eat tiny shrimp all day long. Oh, that's a lot of shrimp. But do you want to know what I think is the most interesting thing about seahorses? Daddy seahorses are the ones who have babies, not mommy seahorses. If you're a tiny horse who lives in water, anything is possible. Well, they're not actually horses, Dean. I'm gonna need you to repeat that, Cal. Okay, they're not actually horses, Dean. Whoa! <laughs> See that fish over there? Look at those flaps on its neck. Those are called gills. That's how a fish breathes underwater. Now, look at the seahorses. <gasps> they have gills too! That's right, because seahorses are actually a type of fish. Oh, I love seahorses. I mean, sea fish. Uh, uh, horse horses. Uh, horse fish. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Move like a seahorse, go up, go down. Move like a seahorse, sway side to side. Just feel the music, let it be your guide. Sway to and fro Dancing like the seahorses down below What a great day! We saw all sorts of colorful coral We learned about some animals who live in coral And we even got to see seahorses And we learned that daddy seahorses have babies! It's pretty amazing, isn't it, Dean? Uh, yeah. Well, I guess there's only one thing left to do. Dance, Dance party! party! What a day, what a day. It's so much fun. Playing with friends by the ocean. Down below in the water. Up on the shore. So much to learn. So much to explore. We're so glad you could play with us. Tinker, Cal, Dean, Neptune, and Opus. What a day! What a day! It's so much fun. Playing with friends by the ocean. See you next time. Until then, keep exploring. Teamwork. Come on.
work together. Working together. Wash, wash, wash. Working together. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Keeping it clean down under the sea. Making the dream work. Using our teamwork. Working together. Wash, wash, wash. Working together. Wipe, wipe, wipe. Right. 